Good afternoon, everyone. Australian Lake turns pink. French River's turning fluorescent green. White fog bows off the west coast of the United States. Early tornadoes in Germany. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030 and join me for many Ice Age conversations on iTunes and Stitcher Radio, where I just put up another episode. Westgate Park in Australia, the lake turns bright pink. And as always, they need to have an explanation for it, and here it is, very high salt levels. And somehow the algae growing in the salt crust at the bottom of the lake produces this red pigment. A few images for you here. This is down in Melbourne. Quite a few anomalous weather events with heavy winds, out of season storms, that sort of thing happening this year. And then we get this pink lake suddenly. So you have to wonder if it's all connected somehow with the changes going on down there. Now jumping over to France, residents alarmed to see a fluorescent green river running through their town. Color of the water, close up for you here. This was just a week ago. Really interesting how it just turned color close up. And then there's a collage of all these different areas where they've taken photos. But I do want to draw your attention to this headline here. Why are rivers in France turning fluorescent green? This is the second time it's happened in about a year. Close up for you here of the event in 2016 of April. Now the explanation at that time was some of the inspectors of environmental groups in France decided to release this color to draw attention to the lack of resources that these environmental groups have to carry out their mission. They say the fluorescence is totally harmless. It doesn't harm any fish or marine life. But now it's happened again this year and nobody's taking responsibility for the claims of this dye. But in 2016, you can see it even invaded the water supply enough to get into the fountains. So I'll let you draw your own conclusion if that excuse makes sense to you from the French government. Over to San Francisco, West Coast, USA. Fog bows, extremely rare white. Rainbow slash fog bow. Bit closer up here for you. As always, the explanation coming out. The unusual fog in coastal waters. You have to have longer nights, cooling, moist air on the ground, and you get the right conditions for a fog bow. And the weather is becoming warmer right now there. Doesn't make sense, but regularly this is the type of fog that rolls off the coast over that part, San Francisco area in California. This was the fog bow. So again, there has to be very special weather conditions for this to happen. And you've seen all these unusual storms rolling across the Western United States this year alone, specifically in the last two months with the epic flooding. Snowpack in the Sierra Nevadas at least double what it normally is. And those floods that overtopped the spillway at Oroville and all the other dams that had emergency releases and all the flooding based on the now non-existent drought. Speaking of unusual vortices in the skies, incredibly early. I mean, Germany's not a place known for tornadoes anyway. But here we go. Look at this incredible beauty. Rainbow with the funnel cloud, March 9th. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Indeed, there's a lot of signs around us changing Earth that you might want to take a look at. Understand that it's effects from the sun. We're repeating a cycle again, and nature is showing you that things are in flux. You just have to open your eyes and take a look. These are the signs. And please take a moment to jump over to getthetea.com. I'm currently using the Moringa extract. Love this stuff. You need every available means at your disposal to stay healthy in today's world. Moringa for me gives me an extra energy boost and helps my mind stay clear. As well, the olive leaf been used for thousands and thousands of years for immune system support. And with the weather fluctuating, and now there's another blizzard rolling through the Northeast United States, all the way down to Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina. You know, it was 75 degrees the other day. Now it's going to go down to zero and snow again for a week. And then it'll be 75, 80 degrees again, and then it'll go back down. 
and you really do need to focus on keeping your body healthy.